Hello and welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create a filter pane in Power Apps. When I hit the play button, I have a filter icon. When I click it, a filter pane appears with all the controls. So I can type the employee the city, the state, or the position. And I can close the filter pane. So if you'd like to know how I created the filter pane, stay tuned. To create a filter pane, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to the insert menu, click on icons, and choose the filter icon. Next, I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to hit the plus sign. Choose rectangle. Let's make a rectangle like this. Next, I'm going to move the controls. inside of the rectangle. I'm going to reorder the controls. Then we're going to insert a button. And this button is going to close the filter pane. Now I'm going to make all these objects into a group. So I'm going to select every object in the filter pane, including the rectangle. I'm going to select group. Rename the group. Call it Filter pane. Then I'm going to go into the properties of the group and select the visible property and create a variable. called filter pane. Just copy it. The reason we're getting the red error is because we haven't created a variable yet. So now I'm going to create the variable. I'm going to select the filter icon in the on select property of the filter icon. I'm going to create 
a context variable And set it to true. So you want to press the filter pane icon or the filter icon. The filter pane shows up. Now I'm going to select the close button and on the on select property of the close button I'm going to set that same variable var filter pane to false. I press the filter icon, the filter pane appears, I press the close button, it goes away. So that is how you create a filter pane in Power Apps. Thanks for watching.